Imagine if a single cell organism single-handedly designed the Tokyo metro system. Well, this actually happened when a group of Japanese researchers at Hokkaido University put a slime mold on a map of Tokyo. Sounds really strange, I know, but the scientists were actually onto something and they were astounded by the results. In Japan. In Japan, we've been telling about the unprecedented the slime mold to Japan. But it was only a possibility because Japanese Tokyo train is taking a tougher place. Tokyo. Everything in Japan just seems to work. They have the fastest trains in the world, the best food, they have those cool pink trees in the spring, and they're really punctual too. Anyway, let's talk about Tokyo, the capital of Japan, the largest city in the world with over 40 million inhabitants. It has some of the best urban planning in the world, and some would say that the Tokyo metro system is the epitome of all this. It transports 40 billion passengers every year with 100 different train lines, and it was designed by Slime Bolt. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm not lying. Slime mold, this thing, actually designed the highly complex spatial problem that is the Tokyo metro system by figuring out the most efficient routes between urban hubs in Tokyo. Okay, I should say that this happened after the metro system was designed, so that it's more like the slime mold replicated it, but don't take away it because this is actually even more impressive in some ways. You see, the legendary Tokyo metro system is the fruit of decades worth of civil engineering in collaboration with community dwellings and urban planning. Decades. The slime mold, in contrast, did it in just a couple of days. So how did it do it? Well, a group of scientists led by Atushi Tero poured out some oats on a table, but not just in any old configuration. They put the oats so they represented hotspots around Tokyo. Now, slime molds, as Merlin Sheldrake points out in his awesome mushroom book called Entangled Life, can make decisions by comparing a range of possible courses of action and can find the shortest path between two points in a labyrinth. And coincidentally, they also really like oats. At first, the slime mold just expanded and branched out to cover the whole edible network. But here's the cool part. In a few days, it naturally established the most efficient route between the oats, and thus, it inadvertently replicated the Tokyo metro system. Here's the comparison. It's not exactly one-to-one, -one, but it's pretty darn close. The study was all about finding better network design using biological principles. The slime mold certainly did that, even though it's a single-celled organism and it's brainless. No offense. It's been well researched by now, and countless times slime mold has solved complex spatial problems like labyrinths. A notable example is when a guy mapped out his local IKEA store to see how the slime mold would escape. Sure enough, it found the fastest possible route out of IKEA. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of how nature is reflected in human design. More complex organisms and animals have also been used to inspire modern engineering. There's a whole field of study out there called biomimicry, which is when we humans look at the systems and models of nature to solve our own problems. As it happens, the tip of the Shinkansen, the so-called Japanese bullet train, employed this method of design and was modeled after the kingfisher bird. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like so I can continue to do whatever this is. And uh, here's a video about AI politicians. That's